Hi guys, Minos from Hydraulic.online. Just a quick summary on uh, the differences, advantages and disadvantages of two-piece fittings and the one-piece fittings. So what we're looking at here is a range of half-inch two-piece hose tails. It's actually a one-piece hose tail. I'll go into the discussions of that in a minute. The two-piece comes from the shell or what we call the ferrule. The beauty about two-piece fittings and the advantage about two-piece fittings, it's, it's a bit of a cost and a convenience factor. So this shell, if you were using this two-wire hydraulic hose here, which is our Engimatech two-wire hydraulic hose. So this shell will go on here, on here, on here, on here, on here, on all of these tails, yeah? So you can have a range of tails, but you don't need to keep a bunch of shells for if you had 10 of these and 10 of 10 of each of those which you know there's seven different types here you don't necessarily need to stock 70 shells you know you could keep 30 shells or 40 shells and it's just a little more convenience and a little more space saving especially if you're in a mobile application all right the disadvantages of two-piece fittings are mainly in assembly more than anything else you just need to be a little more careful when you're doing your assembly and i'll show you what i mean by assembly the shell actually fits over the hose first and it's quite easy to tell if the hose has gone all the way because there's a little shoulder in there that bottoms out and you then actually this is your jic fitting and then you actually push your JIC fitting on. The important factor with two-piece fittings is that that shoulder there has to lock in there and you need to ensure that it's all pushed in together before you start your crimping or swaging which is a machine that actually crushes this shell down under high pressure to a certain diameter and then when you crush it as you're crushing it make sure Sometimes you will actually notice this start to move. Yeah, as you start the crimp process, just it's rare, but it does happen. Just make sure that you keep that tail pushed in. If, however, you miss and you crimp on the shoulder or you crimp here, even though you reach the right diameter, there's just not enough bite to actually hold this tail from blowing out. So what will happen at high pressures or medium even medium pressures i mean i forget this is rated to 4000 psi and medium pressures it will blow this fitting off all right 